Wow. We're done with that one. Turn it off! It's not getting any better. <laughs> and what that element is, is we're going to actually create just a little bit of a loop. So we're going to kind of stand it up a little too much where the club is a little too vertical and then shallowing out. Too vertical, shallowing out. So you're going to feel how the mass of that club wants to go up and under. Okay? Always do, something to do. We do in light in lessons all the time, but well, that would be a good one for shallowing. Yeah. Wide, wide right arm. You let that right arm fold way up too much, so it's wide. Stand it up. Go again. Start over. I okay. want it. We're gonna really feel this thing. Yeah, like this. Stand up. Nice and let that retract a little bit. There you go. And now it's gonna go. Whoop as you change direction. So you're going to sit down and this is going to go. Okay. So give me a few rehearsals of that with no stops, no. So it's all one flowing motion up and under with wide arms. A little more energy in it, so it swings. Okay, now I'll go ahead and hit me one like that and see if we can get it to go up to under and start it to the right. Up to under. Now your hands pushed down that time again. You lengthened it out. Your arm swing was longer. So what we need to focus on with you is more structured arm swing, more body turn. So you've got to feel like your chest turns farther, not your arms swing farther. Okay. Because when you, once you start getting above waist high, you get arms and then you get push. So we've got to feel more body turn. Gotcha. Yeah, and that probably makes sense because I, I have the TRS. It's in my bag, and when 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 I was, you know, honestly, I haven't played in probably two or three weeks. I just haven't been able to get out. But when I was in the basement doing it. I felt really good here to here. I like to your point, I probably was breaking down, but at least I could control things a little bit here to here. Once I get up above, it's just it's a mess. Yeah, so the the problem is the golf swing, once you get to about here, that's really all your your arms do. The rest of it is it's turn. Gotcha. But not for you it's not. For you it's arms. So yeah. you go you get here pretty good and then you go whoop. And now your brain says, Okay, how do I go? And you go like this with your arms versus wide and more body. Okay, I'm gonna throw this on your golf club for a minute. Okay. And we're gonna make you do some different things. It's going to rest on your right arm at a dress. And then as we swing it back, it's going to go to your left and now if you flip, it'll go back to your right. I want it to stay on the left and live on the left. See how it's right on my left arm right there? Yeah. So I can't go. Gotcha. Okay. You can do all the other stuff you're doing just fine in the backswing. So you can stand it up. Good. Feel how that's on your left arm right there? Yeah. Now you're going to transition and it's going to stay on your left arm. Now you just turn your body out of the way and leave it on your left arm. Right there, that's the finish. Okay. Wow. And that took the flip away. Now that is learning speed right there. That, that was, was good. So good. If I film that, you will be like, wowzers. <laughs> it was perfect. I did film that. Oh, you got the whole thing. I can stop right now. No, I, I'll video it with this so you can see it on the big screen. The big screen TV here. Hold on. That was not as good. I definitely felt it wasn't quite as good, but watch. So your backswing now looks I like. Think that was so much better. My uh, angels are singing. Even how shallow that is, I mean, it's still a lot of work to do, but man, that looks so much better. That's perfect. Oh, you just, you just 
said it a little at the end, but it was yeah, right at the end, you just it was yeah, perfect. It was to leave. It was a beauty right here. Now, if your left side just went, yeah, just keep got going. Open, everything got open. You'd be funny. You would have hit that, and but look how little flip there is there. Yeah, it's just there's a little bit of look at your butts opening up, and you're still in flexion. It's there's a lot of good stuff happening there. Right on. Let me see that back swing. Again. Wow. Yeah, that was way better. Oh yeah, it just drops in. So we get you here, like this. Yeah. And then it must be like you're engaging way more of this, your obliques and your. Yeah, especially at the top. I yeah. feel like that extra where you're pulling me. I just yeah. never thought to literally like get my up. hip a little further up. Yeah. Let, whatever. Let that hip go. Back a bit yeah. More. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a lot of good stuff here. Like no early extension. Body stays right in its same bends. Your hands just are not that great yet. Okay. At managing the face, but which is actually less hands, right? Yeah, because you used to use them so doggone just much. Save everything. Yeah. Huh. All right. Yeah, this is cool. It's well, it's it's a different kind of hands. So your hands are doing a lot of work. Your wrist goes like this in a golf swing. It's just you used to have so much of this, and then a lot of like stand up, twist, flip. Yeah, it's just a, <laughs> some semblance of. Thing is, when you're that narrow, you need that. You have to have it. It's it's a matchup that is, if you don't do it, you can't. You'll just Whereas you can't even hit the ball. You can have more passive wrist when it's wide. Yep. The wider we get, the more quiet everything can stay. Yeah. See, I, I got to get my grip a little stronger. There you go. Beautiful. Now turn. So oh, good. The face is just shut. That is the only problem. I might have the hanger on a little too twisted, but that's that was really good. Well, and I was going to ask you that because it is, it's like. I have like, it on an angle on okay. purpose. So if I were to do this, that sort of, I'll call it like one o'clock versus the face is probably where you want it. I don't me. like, that, so you know I think I mean? they should have eliminated the face on the thing to begin with. I think okay. they should have set it up with, so it was just a pure hanger. Okay. And you set it on your right hand and see how the face right now is a little twisted shut? Yeah. That's our problem. So if I take the hanger and I just twist it just a little bit. We have a couple of videos on the site that just walk through it, I think. Now it's good. Now you do the exact same thing you just did and the ball's gonna go okay. in the hole. Hey, and I'm not looking to blame the hanger. I'm just, you know, if there's a well, It was partly the hanger, but I'm just looking for patterns. In the beginning when I'm helping you, I just wanna see a better motor pattern. So get the face looking like this. Now put your grip on strong. Good. Now put your right hand on. Uh, all right. All right. I, he thought the face went a lot more closed than it goes. I think we've done that it. Was <laughs> that was it, right? Yeah. I knew it was the, the hanger was just on a little twisted. Well, but you're, you know what? I don't know that I had the face necessarily set. Yeah, you always set the I face too shut. Yeah. Uh, Henry was going to tell me to show you where the face goes. And... Well, and you said earlier it was pointing at the desert, so yeah. a strong grip, but I just need to keep the face obviously yeah. squared up. Yes, sir. That was pretty good. Okie dokie, Smokey. I don't see any big divots. No. None, there aren't any in your future if you learn this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man, that looks so good. Whammo. Jeez, does that look good. <laughs> That's different, right? Fellas, right on. Wow. We're done with that one. Turn it off! It's not getting any better.